This will be difficult and hard news for Australians, I can assure you. A shocking reckoning of Australia's longest war has begun with the release of a bombshell report detailing unlawful killings and war crimes. These findings allege the most serious breaches of military conduct and professional values. 23 incidents of alleged unlawful killing of 39 people. Those alleged to have been unlawfully killed were all people under control, in lay terms, prisoners, farmers, or other civilians. None of the alleged unlawful killings were described as being in the heat of battle. The unlawful killing of civilians and prisoners is never acceptable. Australia must now confront the fact that some of its military elite were little more than cold-blooded killers. The report has sent shockwaves through the entire defence community while threatening Australia's reputation around the world. It, it made me physically ill and it was very, a very distressing read. Prisoners were executed to blood junior soldiers. New patrol members were coerced to shoot a prisoner in order to achieve that soldier's first kill. There were times when members of the Special Operations Task Group planted weapons on the bodies of those they'd killed to avoid scrutiny. 19 soldiers now face possible criminal charges and prosecution and could have their citations stripped. But inside the military, there's frustration and anger that no senior officers have yet taken responsibility. We seem to be focusing on people at the bottom end of the uh, command chain and not following it further. This report is at pains to exonerate the commanders. Historically, it'll be the most shameful moment in our armed forces history. Well, thanks for watching our program. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and even subscribe.